In this video series, we'll be examining how to solve equations, inequalities, and model with equations and inequalities. So before we begin this, it's important that we actually are familiar with the different terms that we will be using throughout Algebra 2 for this. And you're expected to both understand and know these terms and to apply them and use them yourself. So first up is a variable, which at this point in Algebra 2, you know a variable is a letter that's used to represent an unknown value. You should be familiar with variable. A coefficient is the number that's being multiplied to the variable for it. So it's the number in front of the variable. Another phrase that you're going to hear is constant. A constant is a number being added, subtracted in an equation or an expression. It is the number itself. It is not any variable. It's the plus or minus a number. And so if I were to just write down a very basic expression, 3x plus 4. You know, my variable is x. My coefficient is 3. My constant is 4. It's just the number being added, subtracted at the end. And so next we have a term. A term is an object that's separated by a plus or minus sign. And so if I take a look, this expression, 3x plus 4, here's your plus sign. There are two terms. The first term is 3x. The second term is your 4. And then we have a variable expression. It contains at least one variable. You know, an expression, there's no equal sign. There's no equation for it. And then an equation is if you have two mathematical statements that are equal to each other. And so it's two expressions equal. And so an equation would be if I said 3x plus 4 equals 9. And now we have an equation because there's an equal sign. If it's just that 3x plus 4, it's an actual expression. For And so these are the terms. They're very basic. You just need to be familiar with being able to use them when responding to questions in class or writing down explanations in your assignments for it. 